NBC Sports puts all the pieces together, blending a tradition rich in memories with innovation and the latest in television technology. Great moments come alive on NBC Sports. Baseball takes over, as most of you will see, the New York Mets with the best record in the majors going against the vastly improved Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field in the Windy City. Or some of you will see the world champion Minnesota Twins as they continue their winning ways in the AL West. Last night, they beat Oakland and trailed by only five games, but American League home run leader Jose Canseco and the Athletics look to bounce back this afternoon. But first, NBC Sports presents Major League Baseball an inside look brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken is home and by the Miller Brewing Company, sole sponsor of the U.S. Olympic Training Centers. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Marv Albert, and welcome back to our New York studios as we make the transition from tennis to baseball. And coming up on the pregame show, David Letterman will join us to conduct, well, a, a different kind of interview with Mets pitching sensation David Cohn, kind of uh, up close and... Uh, uh, perhaps a bit on the personal side, and a talk with Lou Pinella as he begins his second go-round as manager of the Yankees. Up next, we give David Letterman a chance to sharpen up on his interviewing skills as he prepares to make his return to late night next Tuesday. So Dave will chat with Met Phenom David Cohn. All right, Dave, I know this is going to be good for you. Yeah. I know you've been preparing I for days. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, you know how I have prepared for this? I've been doing a lot of shoplifting in 7-Elevens, and then I ask for the videotape from the surveillance camera later, and I study it and see how I look and, and use it for makeup pointers and so forth. Any particular questions that you've uh, prepared? Uh, I, want, I want to know uh, if, if uh, it would be possible for David Cohn, say his family came to the park, would it be possible for him to introduce them to Mookie Wilson uh, with a straight face? <laughs> you know, Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet Mookie. <laughs> I don't know. Well, obviously, I feel I still can pitch. I mean, my fastball is not what it once was, and I prefer not to play on AstroTurf. I'd rather pitch on grass. Uh, but I still think I can contribute. Uh, I feel I could work with Lou. I could even work with Billy Martin. I mean, I work with Art Garfunkel, so I know what it's like to work under pressure. I should point out Paul Simon spoke those words two years ago when it was Lou in and Billy out and here we go again. Such are the cyclical fortunes of recycled men. You may want to jot that down. With the writer's strike in effect since early March, Late Night with David Letterman has been strictly a rerun city. So as a public service and that Dave has not been in front of a camera in months and is undoubtedly stale. Uh, we here on the pregame show are providing an opportunity for him to get back to it. So earlier this week at Shea Stadium, we arranged for Dave to interview pitcher David Cohn, who has had a standout year uh, for the New York Mets. He's emerged with a record of 9-1 and one coming off that victory over the Cubs yesterday afternoon. So here it is. Dave, I know it's been a while since yeah, your last four months, TV Mark. appearance, four months but you have, been to, on TV. you have to pull yourself together. This yeah, will be good for you. This will be a little training exercise for me. Absolutely. This is David Cohn of the New Hi, York David. Mets. Nice uh, David Letterman and Dave, Hi, good luck. It's all Thank yours. You very much. Right. I used to have a television show on NBC. Yeah, I, I watched it a couple it times. Moderately successful. Uh, yeah, moderately. Yes. Yeah. Listen, Marv, uh, uh, we certainly enjoy those non-titled bouts from Italy. Thank more, you very more much. More of those, please. More of the fight doctor also. Yeah. Uh, so I thought what I'd do is I made some notes here, and we're just going to like do kind of a dummy interview. Is that all right? That's fine with me. Okay, are you relaxed? Yeah, fairly relaxed. Okay. A a as a boy uh, growing up, you did grow up as a boy, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, did you have dreams of becoming a major league pitcher? Yes, Dave, I did. I dreamed uh, since uh, the day I could pick up a wiffle ball bat that yeah. I'd play uh, for the Kansas City Royals. Uh, I, I, and you did, didn't you? I actually did. I lived out that dream, and it, it didn't last too yeah. long. But well, I the did. problem was the wiffle ball bat. <laughs> that was it, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've lost it, Marv. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a boy, I also had a dream. I, I dreamed that one day I would grow up and become a, a major league bullpen catcher. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an inspiring Yeah. Thing. All right, uh, David, I have some uh, questions for you here that I uh, jotted down when I uh, knew Marv was arranging this for us okay uh, uh, first question at the at the end of the season thank you do you get to keep your uniform yeah we do as long as we promise not to sell it uh -huh. not not to sell it yeah we have to actually keep it okay all right that was a good one Dave. I don't have a follow-up for that yeah, that was good though. all right um, 
Num number three here. Would you ever say say you're in a in a real tight game? Say you're working on a no hitter like you were uh, not not too long ago. W would you ever consider throwing a game, throwing a game to avoid being on Kiner's corner? <laughs> you know, now that you mention it, uh, I might have to give that some thought. Yeah, well, that's uh, <laughs> certainly seems to be the reasonable reply there. All right. Um, okay. Now here's one. Uh, this is like a uh, uh, a story problem. In, in math, you'd have story problems. Uh, who do you think weighs more now, Los Angeles Dodger manager Tommy Lasorda or Cincinnati Reds owner Marge Schott? <laughs> I think it's neck and neck right now. Yeah, it is pretty close, isn't <laughs> it? Is. it? Yeah. It's a toss-up. Yeah. Um, okay, number five. Hey, oh, this is good. This is You have to apply a little logic here. You and I have something in common. You grew up in Kansas City. Uh, I grew up in Indianapolis. Uh, you're playing Major League Baseball, and I used to have a television show. But we have something else in common. Do you, do you know what that is? Not right offhand. Okay. When you and I work, when we both go to work, we both of us wear a cup. <laughs> we both wear a cup, huh? Yeah. What's the purpose for you? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you haven't seen the show, have you? <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, okay, I, I can understand Okay. That, yeah. All right, now, uh, how are we doing on time, Marv? Uh, we're closing in okay. on the conclusion. Okay, I have one, one final question. This is another one I want you to, to think. Just let your mind uh, run wild. Uh, which would you rather have now? Now think about this seriously. A career-threatening injury. Think about it. You're 25. You're thinking you got the world ahead of you. You're looking at Cooperstown. Everything has fallen into place. But think about this. Would you rather have a career-threatening injury or Whitey Herzog's haircut? I think I'd rather blow out my knee. It's <laughs> <laughs> a coincidentally, uh, Whitey blew out his hair, I believe. <laughs> uh, this has been great fun. Thanks, Marv. And that Whitey does have a fine sense of humor. I know that he will not be upset with Dave Letterman or uh, David Cohn. I, in this particular situation, merely an innocent bystander. And we are glad we're able to get Dave ready. Uh,